get me through the questions, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, no, it's fine, Yuna. I'll be fine. Okay. Hello and welcome to our Experian chat with Priya Haji, the CEO and co-founder of SaveUp. If you've never heard about SaveUp, you're in for a treat because it's the tool that makes personal finance fun. Priya, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, and I'm really excited to talk about what we're doing with your uh, community. Awesome. Uh, before we begin, first I want to congratulate you for a couple things. One, it's like your two-year anniversary of starting up SaveUp, so congratulations. That thank is awesome. You. And the recent launch of the Save Up app, which I just got at the iTunes store. It looks beautiful. Very exciting. And we have so many people downloading it and now bringing it into their pocket, which is a great feeling. That's awesome. And um, congratula a special congratulations on the birth of your second child. That is oh, so cool. Yeah, and you know, my first one is actually turning two in December. So my dad calls uh, Save Up and that one twins. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't know how you are. You are so productive. You're so busy. I'm wondering if you have some sort of special app that we don't know about that keeps you so productive because you're doing. Um, so many I things. think my special app is my amazing co-founder Sammy, who's the CTO. <laughs> and, um, so I think he's the. Unfortunately, you cannot download him in the uh, iTunes store. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, Priya, you're, you're a social entrepreneur, and SaveUp is your fourth venture-backed startup that benefits people. Can you share a little bit about your career journey with us and what inspired you to launch SaveUp two years ago? Uh, yeah, I think, first of all, you know, for me as an entrepreneur, and I think Sammy as my co-founder too, our passion is definitely in finding ways to use technology and all of the new innovations to really benefit people's lives and to make real world problems uh, easier to face and, and create real solutions. And so um, with Save Up, we really came up with this idea as the recession was at its worst point. And I would mm -hmm. say for the majority of Americans, this recession has not lifted. Certainly in the Bay Area and Silicon Valley, we're in a bit of a bubble. But I'm from Texas, and um, I can tell you that most of the country is still very much trying to dig its way out mm -hmm. you know, after the mortgages issues, but then also people with a lot of credit card debt. People ran through a lot of savings when they lost their jobs, um, or incomes were reduced. And so we really thought about how do you use all the newest, coolest innovation that's out there right now, social games, social media, um, the new interaction designs, but do something that can actually help people out of this recession and make it less painful mm -hmm. and more positive. And um, Save Up is our uh, contribution to that solution. And what we've done is really built a fun, rewarding way to organize your finances help you kind of hack your own brain to stay motivated to save money and pay down debt. And the biggest motivation in Save Up is that you can win a real $2 million every time you save money or pay down your debts. You can win cars, vacations, gift cards, coupons. And it does do all the things to help you get organized, but it does it in a really fun and different way. That's awesome. So I'm going to actually show some screenshots about Save Up and also the app that's available on iTunes. Can you uh, kind of just walk us through and describe what people should expect when they first sign up to save up and, and what they're going to get? Absolutely. So first of all, save up is a bank level secure site. Uh, we go through a bank level audit. It's a 256-bit uh, encrypted site. And uh, you can see our security certificates and all of that right when you come into the experience. And what we do at Save Up is you come to Save Up and you can actually start just by reg registering yourself and then registering any financial account at 19,000 financial institutions. We're compatible with all of them. So it's any account where you're saving your money. So it could be your savings account, a 401k from your job, an IRA, or any debt that you're paying off. So that could be a credit card, a student loan, a car loan. And once you've registered those with Save Up, you not only can see that kind of organized in one place and help you um, in the way that a PFM type of tool can, 
But we then actually turn it into a fun game. And for every dollar you save or every dollar of debt you pay off, you win, uh, you earn a save up credit, and then you use those credits to enter to win all these cool prizes, which are all merchant funded and advertising funded. So there's a $2 million sweepstakes, there's cars, vacations, gift cards, coupons, and the more you save money and the more you pay down your debt, the more chances you get to win those prizes. And um, they are long odds, especially the $2 million. It's set at the same odds as the state Powerball lottery. Uh, but what I would tell you is it's a chance to become a millionaire that is literally free. It's actually motivating you not to walk to the gas station or not to put that money um, in Vegas on the tables, but instead put that money into your own bank account. And then you could still become a millionaire and win $2 million, or you could save your way to $2 million in the process. And so that's really the behavioral economics uh, behind Save Up. And, and then we also uh, connect you with certified financial planning. There's financial education content on the site as well, and a lot of resources to help you um, make good choices. That's awesome. I heard your talk at G Summit this year, and you described Save Up as a gummy vitamin. Can you explain what you meant by that? Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, I think for all of us uh, that have ever seen a little kid be asked to take vitamins and then when you <laughs> see them being offered something that looks like candy that is actually still a vitamin, um, it's a pretty profound transformation in their reaction. And so yeah. I think, you know, with Save Up, one of the big challenges for most Americans is that people really only look at their complete financial picture once a year, maybe at tax time, uh, maybe twice a year, you know, they sit down and kind of look at stuff, but most people um, feel very overwhelmed. And the kinds of people who would use a tool uh, like Mint or a bank PFM tool um, are an unusual group, and they're probably yes. not the Save Up audience. Mm -hmm. Well, they're people who love vitamins because they're vitamins, and they take their vitamins because they love the taste of the mm -hmm. vitamin. Um, Save Up is really saying, hey, if you know in your heart or in your mind, like, this is something that you want to work on, you want to save money, you want to pay off that debt, you want to get organized, and it's something you want to work on, but you kind of just avoid it or you feel overwhelmed by it, Save Up is the tool to help make that a lot easier. So you can register your accounts, the whole experience auto-populates, it tracks how much you've saved, how much debt you've paid down, you don't have to enter receipts, you don't have to make notes, you just link all the accounts where you're actually getting things done. And then you get more chances to win every day, which gives you a really good reason to look at your finances every day. And what's really exciting is we've seen great results in terms of it really changing people's habits. Um, our average user six months after signing up for Save Up, um, half of them are using it multiple times a week to look wow. at their picture. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, it's totally huge and totally exciting. And we're getting emails every day mm. from people basically just saying, hey, this is really helping me. It's positive. It's helping me stay motivated. And the reality is, yes, the chance of winning the really big prizes is small. But a small chance at something really big can help you every day to kind of do something, which is look at your money, see where you are, remind yourself of what you need to pay, what you need to do, and then, yeah, today might be the day you win that $2 million, um, or you'll have gotten ahead in the work that you're trying to get done for your own life, which is really the purpose of the application. Yeah, and, and I love how, how simple you made it. I mean, not only bringing in the accounts, but you really having people focus on the saving aspect as well as the paying off debts and getting those two things as a focus for people. I think that's wonderful. And, and I like how you compared it with Mint. You know, so I think some people might be um, scared of going into Mint because there's so many things that people can do. But Save Up is a tool that makes savings and paying off debt very, very fun. And like you said, there's that gamification aspect, which makes it almost addicting. You want to go in and check in to see how much you're saving, how many points, you, how, many, uh, how much debt you're paying off. And you've done a really, really wonderful job. I'm wondering what behavioral research um, has contributed to the development of Save Up? So uh, that's a great question. There's actually a couple of, I think, very influential thinkers that have shaped our work. One is a professor who was at Harvard who's now, I think, in, uh, in Europe 
uh, uh, is uh, Peter Tufano, and he uh, did a lot of research in the United States and published it about what's called prize-linked savings. And prize-linked savings was actually pioneered in the UK. In the UK, it's run by one of the largest banks, and it's a real program where you, for every dollar you save into this type of a bond, you instead of getting the same interest rate that you would normally get, you get a little less interest, but you get the chance to win everyone's interest that's invested in this type of bond. And as a result, they've actually had one out of three households in the UK saving in this instrument. It's now been around for over 50 years in the UK. It's tremendously popular. It's been replicated in like 80 countries. And interestingly, it's actually just now been proposed in a congressional bill in the United States to be offered um, legally by banks in the U.S. It's wow. not really legal in the U.S. because if the bank requires you to originate a particular bond or a particular loan in order to get the chance at a prize, in the United States that's considered a lottery because they sold you something in order to get mm. you to participate. But Save Up actually read a lot of that research, and what we thought about is, you know, there could be a way to do this that's not exactly, we don't have to sell you a particular savings account or instrument, but what if we could turn it into a rewards game on top of any savings instrument you already have? And so you have a savings account, you have a 401k, you have an IRA, just hook it up. And then what we did is we used the model of sweepstakes, because now your entries are totally free, because you're putting the money in your own savings account or you're paying off your own debts, then the chance to win the prizes becomes free. And that's where we legally registered as a sweepstakes and we brought in merchants and advertisers um, who put their branding um, on top of it. And so, for example, if you could win a car which could save you money on your gas, uh, wouldn't you love that to be a Toyota Prius? And if you have a limited number of plays every day and you play for that Toyota Prius, you're building your relationship with that brand. That brand mm -hmm. is excited um, that you're interested. Or if you're saving for a 529 account and you keep playing for fifty thousand dollars to win a 529 account, that's somebody that Schwab probably wants to meet right. and know about because they can right. help that person. So that's how we tied in advertising, but in a very different way. Um, but what we did, and the advertising should all be relevant to your goals, obviously. And then on the other hand. Um, the prizes themselves are aspirational and rewarding and, and that behavioral economics research informed us. The other group whose research we definitely uh, used is the persuasive technology group, uh, BJ Fogg, who's at um, Stanford. Stanford yeah. And it's really about building habits and daily habits and trying to change daily habits. And really for us at Save Up, there's a lot of game mechanics we've created. I mean, some of them are a la Zynga. Um, where, you know, at Zynga you water your plants every day or otherwise they die. <laughs> and say that um, you either use your daily plays or your chances to win or you lose them. So if you don't log in today, you would have had three to eight plays or three to eight chances to win. Mm. And if you don't log in today, you don't get, tomorrow they don't bank. So it's not like tomorrow you'd have two times three. It's that you would have to only I see. Have to Tomorrow. And so that idea of an expiring play is very compelling to bring people back each day. And that time that they're back on the site is our chance to not only show them where they stand financially, but to suggest a challenge. Like we do these kind of gamified challenges or to show them a piece of educational content and say, hey, you can earn extra credits for watching this video about a topic that we think is relevant to you. Um, and so we're kind of using that gamification to suck you back, but then serving the vitamin uh, while you're there yeah. a little sugar in your teeth so yeah <laughs> that's that's awesome um, so what what uh, you you've named some of the different uh, uh, things that are involved the the contests the prizes the lottery uh, what what are some of the companies you partnered with like what what are the things people can actually win oh uh, yeah definitely worth checking out we have new prizes coming up all the time. Uh, the biggest prize on Save Up is a $2 million jackpot. And the way the jackpot works is you can use your plays and credits to enter for the $2 million by choosing six numbers. And each time you enter, you pick six numbers. You can, um, And then once a month, we have an auditor that comes to the site, and he picks out six numbers. And if anyone matches all six, they will win the $2 million. 
it's all legally registered in all 50 states. There's insurance bonds. The video is put on our site every month. Um, I usually am the one to draw the numbers, so I can promise you it's totally legit. <laughs> I've seen and, her YouTube videos. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, uh, and then uh, the what we do is, um, in addition to the $2 million jackpot, we do weekly drawings, which are smaller prizes that range from a $100 gas card. I think this week we have a gold bar. Um, you know, and the community actually oh, wow. nominates up the prizes for the weekly rewards and drawings. And so you could actually get on there if there's something you really think people would want to win or you want to win, you can actually put it up as a prize for yourself. And then um, in addition to that, we have instant win tickets. And those are, if you think of like scratchers, it's games yeah. like that. And uh, those prizes uh, range from a few dollars uh, up to uh, $50,000 and the kinds of things that are there is like a $50,000 student loan payoff, wow. $50,000 wow. to buy, uh, put a down payment on a house, um, a $25,000 child savings account, there are cars, there's vacations to um, most places around the world um, and we constantly bring in new cool stuff to help keep people motivated. I think we just put up a $5,000 holiday savings fund. Wow. People get ready for the holidays in a positive way. So, and again, those are prizes that you can play for multiple times every day. Um, and you know, it's it's like a quick, fun little bit of entertainment. You could win something real, and and it gets you uh, to think about what you got to think about. And then the other thing is, the more you use save up, you earn stamps, and then you can trade those stamps for things that are more certainty based, like free magazines. There's uh, subscription to Ink Magazine on the site. There's uh, Golf Digest, and um, I I just got a Parents Magazine subscription out of Save Up. Nice. And the cool thing is, a lot of those you can not only get for yourself, but you can gift them. So for the holidays, if you play Save Up, you could give some of your family members some really cool magazine subscriptions as a gift um, that you've earned on the site as well. So that's wonderful. You mentioned that there are also ways for people to get. Uh, credits for education and, and learning about uh, personal finance. What, what types of education is available through SaveUp? So uh, at SaveUp we've uh, learned that the format people like the best is we do some two-minute videos in partnership with another site called the Two-Minute Finance Guy and um, those are on quick relevant topics everything from paying off credit card debt to what's an upside down car loan and what do you do about it um, and different types of savings instruments. Those are really quick form uh, educational tips and you take, you watch the video and at the end you take a quiz and if you get all the questions right you earn the credits and you get three, basically 30 credits which is enough to play three times and um, you can you can peruse that and, and we serve it to you as well relevantly. Mm -hmm. um, in addition we then realized people wanted more content and more frequently, so we have a great blog where we um, create daily articles uh, that are about uh, various financial topics and current relevant. So feel free to check that out. And then we have a certified financial planning uh, uh, service, which is basically longer form webinars that are on the site. For example, how much money do I need to retire? And there's it's almost an hour long webinar with um, tools that you can download and, and use and then actually if you actually want to meet with a planner uh, there's a free 30-minute consultation available with a certified financial planner and then wow. if that goes well um, and if you and the planner want to continue working together it is more of a fee-for-service planning service um, but if you want that service on an ongoing basis you can then um, sign up and, and continue to work with her. That's cool. For those people that are interested in, they, like they go and they download the Save Up app and they're interested in um, getting the education, do they need to link their accounts first or they can they can they start benefiting right away? Yeah, so anybody, even if you have no financial activity that you're ready to um, work on, so saving money or paying down debt or you want to check out the app first, um, on the web experience, you can use everything uh, without linking any accounts. So okay. there's nothing uh, to do. In the mobile app, you can use the tool, but um, to earn enough credits, uh, you would probably need to come over to the website and view the education there because mobile right now doesn't have all the educational content in it yet. Okay, okay. 
Now, I'm, I'm always concerned about privacy. I'm sure you are too. And sometimes I'm hesitant about using apps, any sort of financial apps um, that link to my financial institutions. How, how are users protected? I think it's important that you um, always feel that you've checked out a company before you're going to trust with your financial information. I think it is really interesting because younger people, especially under the age of probably about 36, 37, um, ha are in a new generation where I think what the realization that we should have is that we've moved from a world where financial data belongs to the financial institutions, um, which is how it used to be. And if you were a customer of a bank, you had to go to that bank or that login to go get your information and do anything with it, and it was very hard to port that data or use it. What's really exciting and powerful about the current period we live in is that data now belongs to you. And there's tools like SaveUp or lots of other services where you can actually populate it with your own data and use it with or without your bank being a partner to that entity mm -hmm. at all. Um, and that data is yours. And the way that works is we're, built, we're building these sites that are based on aggregation technology, which means we can link to any bank. And if you authorize us to pull your data from that bank, we can. Now, granted, to your point, you should make sure that any site you trust to work with your data is secure and that you feel confident about it. SaveUp actually partners with Intuit to um, provide the back end security and service for the aggregation that we do. Um, SaveUp also, like I said at the beginning, is a bank level encrypted site, which you can see from our security certificate. We follow all the best practices and we go through a bank level audit, actually from a group, an auditing group as well. Um, but I think you have to make sure that any site you use um, follows those same principles. But I do think it's a really exciting time because you can now port your data uh, whether it's to a financial planner, you can do it really easily, whether it's to a site like SaveUp, where for the first time you can reward yourself for all the smart things you're doing, uh, and you're not necessarily captive to a bank's rewards program or um, set of activities. That's wonderful. Uh, at the end of every Hangout, Priya, we, we ask some final questions just to get to know you a little bit better. And my first question is, what, what inspires the work that you do? For me, definitely on Save Up Every Day, there's this stream of just real-time uh, comments that are coming from people who are using the site and how it's working for them. And there's no doubt for me that every day, I mean, I want to look at that just so that I can like read that and I can see because to be a person that can uh, work on something that people trust and uh, build a product where people really use it and they're sincerely working on important things in their lives, whether that's saving yeah. for their kids' expenses or whether that's trying to pay off their own college debt. Um, it's just an exciting and, and it's an honor, you know, to be able to help and work with people. And, and for me, I just can't wake up every day and, and try to convince a person that has one toothbrush to buy a second one or, you know, I mean, it's just not, that isn't where my heart is and, and I love doing things where I feel like at the end somebody's real struggle to, to make their life better got a little bit easier, you know, and I think that's, that's a really cool feeling and it's an honor to be in other people's lives that way. That's wonderful. Second question is, what is your favorite food or restaurant? <laughs> oh, um, my favorite food, also the root of my greatest struggle in life, is that I love <laughs> chocolate or sweets. So I always can speak to the gummy vitamin analogy because I can relate to it. <laughs> um, yeah, I love. I'm I'm a dessert person, <laughs> and um, and I would say uh, I love. I really I I like all kinds of chocolate and sweets, but. Um, I would say chocolate fondue. That's a really awesome. Nice. I don't get it all the time. It's not a common thing for me nice. to eat. But it's a really awesome treat. That's cool. Now you're in the Bay Area. Do you have any favorite restaurants for desserts? Oh, um, wow. I have <laughs> <laughs> there is a really awesome chocolate fondue place called La Fondue. It's uh, down in Saratoga, of all places. 
Oh. And um, I don't get the, I mean, I've probably been there like once every few years for since I went to college. So it's not a common place to go, but it's really deliciously mm. awesome. And um, and it's kind of, you have to go there and be like super mellow and chilled out because it takes forever. Um, <laughs> you have to sit there for a long time and chat and dip and chat and dip. But it's, uh, it's, it's really yummy and it's a really cool place that I recommend. It's called La Femme Du. That's awesome. I'll check that out. Yeah. Uh, do, you have, do you? I know. Now I know you're extremely busy with everything. But do you have any favorite TV shows or series that you like right now? Oh, um, honestly, my life right now is overpopulated <laughs> with Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> my son is uh, turning two in December, and he's, as I said, I don't understand why that little red monster has <laughs> like obsessed <laughs> him and every other two-year-old I know. So. He was Elmo for uh, for Halloween as well. He's very cute as Elmo. But oh. so beyond Elmo, um, let's see. I did watch House of Cards, like a crazy fiend. Once I had it. I have an eight-week-old baby as well. And right after she was born, and I had a few very long nights. <sighs> it was intermittently filled with House of Cards, which was pretty cool to see them win all those awards and. And just to see the landscape changing so dramatically in uh, content creation um, for creative content like that. Yeah, I heard that was a really, really good show. I had some friends recommend it. Oh yeah, you got to check. I mean, you got to check it out, but you got to be careful to do it when you know you have time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> suck you in. <laughs> and then my last, my last question is: Do you have any shout outs to anyone you want to recognize or thank? Oh, uh, for Save Up, I would say. Uh, Definitely, I mean, we've had some amazing uh, partnerships that are really strong around this company, and, and I, I really thank you for that. I mean, we've had um, tremendous uh, belief in our product right from the beginning from um, some great partners at True Ventures and at Blue Run Ventures. You know, and, and one of the things about being an entrepreneur in the Valley, you know, for Sammy and I, is that when you come up with an idea like this, which is, hey, what if you could build a whole new way to get people engaged in their personal finances, and what if you could reward the right things instead of the wrong things, and what if you could flip all this stuff on its head? You know, you got to have people that are willing to go with you on that and believe in that, um, and that's pretty cool. Um, so, so I would definitely give them a shout out, and then we have some great partners at Intuit who we were their first external partner um, to use their technology. Um, and that, I think, made a huge difference to the foundation. And then the other exciting thing is we've now reached $1 billion, over $1 billion that's been wow. moved to savings and debt paid down since launching this product. And that's a tremendous accomplishment. And, and that's happening also in part because we have a lot of partners with uh, different blogs, some, uh, credit unions. We have a student loan program that's partnered with us. So the more people we partner with to get Save Up out um, and help millions of people, that's really our biggest goal now. So we, we want to reach as many people as possible. So we thank all those partners too. Well Priya, thank you for, for all the work that you've done. Thank you for Save Up and for partnering here with Experian. Um, I'm, just, I'm just excited to work more with you guys and to promote the things that you're doing. Um, thank you for sharing with us how Save Up helps people pay down debt, save money, and have fun in the process. And just want to thank you again for your time. Definitely. My pleasure. And if you can stay on for a second after you're done, I have a couple questions. I don't know if okay. I should say that. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye bye.